Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Rogue Trader and uh, I may actually go somewhere else. Um, we have two locations that we can go to on this uh, Rykad Minoris, but I'm kind of wondering if maybe I want to go and do the um, uh, the prison planet over here. So we have that as kind of like an optional mission. And we have, let's see, these two locations, the Electrodynamic Synovium and the Bunker, which I don't really know what the Bunker is. I don't know why we found the Bunker. Um, and then we have uh, this place, which is the Prison Planet, and then Rykad Majoris, which I don't know what's going to be there, if I'm being honest. So, but yeah, it seems like most of our main mission stuff is going to be here. Archmagos Amarnat at the Adeptus Mechanicus, and yeah, basically a bunch of things that are sending us to that monastery. Let's go check this out real quick, though. Maybe at some point we'll check and see if we want to trade with those guys again. Okay. The Prison Planetoid. Opening the map of the Coronas Expanse, the Coronas Expanse is a vast region of space where you will travel between different star systems. In each system, unique events can occur. By steering your flagship towards them, you can explore planets, study anomalies, and interact with other ships. To switch to the map of the entire Coronas Expanse, click the button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Okay, let's go. crisp everything looks in, um, in Ultra. This is intriguing. Oh, what do we see? Come in, come in, Escort. This is Captain Vicari. Escort, please, come in. Pilot Raquel, the pale young woman looks at you with a mixture of hope and disbelief swirling in her eyes. You notice her hands trembling as she clutches her weapon. Uh, who are you? Did you come from the planet? Are you reinforcements? Saint's teeth, I thought you'd never come. Let's see. I have no time for long-winded talks. Brief me on the situation ahead and do be concise. Uh, reporting, there's been a prison riot on the planetoid, led by the prison warden himself. My lord, a vain Winterscale, son of rogue trader Caligos Winterscale, went to parlay with him. Laboring biomass should have been equipped with shutdown switches. It is surprising that this procedure was not performed in a timely manner. Laboring biomass? That's what he calls prisoners? And they have shutdown switches, okay. They what? Switches. They're not machines, you can't switch them off. Oh, grok shit, I get it now. A few grams of physaline implanted at the base of the skull, is that your idea of a shutdown? You do realize those are living people, not a resource. This statement is false. The primary attribute of convicted personnel on a mining station is that of a resource. Individuality is negligible. Abelard, teach this riffraff the proper way of addressing her sovereign. Abelard glares at the woman, his bro, furry. Fur furrowing. <laughs> I can read. Officer, the person before you is Analog Vernacular von Valentius, a rogue trader. Although you are, from what I gather, a subject of another dynasty, you would do well to introduce yourself with the proper decorum. At once, sir, the woman stands at attention. Captain Raquel Vicari, servant of the House Winter Scale and the pilot of the shuttle. It is an honor to be greeting his lordship von Valentius. So the warden himself is spearheading this riot? Yes, she bites her lip. No one expected this. Master Casteglia is a nobleman from a respected governor house and a vassal to House Winterscale. All of a sudden he proclaimed that Rykadi Philia has now, was now his personal domain, that the prisoners were his subjects, and that he would never bow to anyone again. It's pure heresy. 
And I take it they're looking forward to a diet of sand and gravel. What kind of madman would start a revolt on a barren rock? And, yeah, why would Winterscale have felt the need to parlay with the dissidents? She sighs. It's a personal matter. Master Casteglia, the uh, seditious warden, is Lord Evane's childhood friend. When my lord heard of the riot, the news saddened him greatly, and so he rushed here without delay, in hopes of bringing his old friend to his senses, no doubt. The first winter scale in my memory who prefers to talk first rather than shoot and slash. She smiles faintly. Young Lord Winterscale is not his father's shadow. If he is determined to save his friend, he won't back down. I pray to the throne that he is alive and well. He's been gone for such a long time, and I really don't like this place. Cassia frowns in confusion. Theobald executed his wife and only son on the mere suspicion of treason against House Orselio. So why did the noble Levain rush to save someone who had betrayed his house? Do bonds of friendship give one the right to make inexcusable mistakes? So is this prison riot connected at all to the rebellion on the planet? It seems more likely that Warden Caseglia learned about the rebellion on Rykad Minoris and decided to use the situation to his advantage. I can't say for certain. Perhaps no one can. Governor Medina has always preferred to shoot rebels rather than inquire about their motives and connections. Um, we already kind of know where Heinrich is now. He should be at the monastery, so I don't even think we need to ask that. Is there anything else I should be apprised of before I set out? Some of the rebels have holed up in the barracks. I don't know how many, but given this is the only way through to where the negotiations are taking place, I would expect heavy resistance. Please take caution, your lordship. Lord Winterscale's guards mind the entrance so that the rebels couldn't get to the shuttle. Good to know. Lots of traps. I have no more questions. You may excuse yourself, pilot. The woman freezes for a moment before asking hesitantly, Your lordship, if I may have a minute of your time, I wouldn't have ever dared trouble you with the personal matter, but the situation. In any case, have you been to the capital of Rykad Minoris yet? I wanted to ask if you saw a man there, a communications officer by the name of Jaspar. I did. You need not worry, Jaspar is alive. She lets out a long sigh. You can see the relief gleaming in her eyes. You can't imagine how much I needed to hear that. Thank you. She bows. You can tell by the desperation in her eyes that she is exhausted, frightened, and wishes to be off this planetoid as soon as possible. Okay. I'd better myself. Always keep my your service. eye on the price. The guard post has been vacant for a long time. There's a layer of dust on every surface. Okay, we'll move kind of slow. Okay, I'm assuming we have to do that from the other side. But yeah, because of the warning about the Mayans, we'll, we'll want to move a little bit slowly. And that's exactly why. Idira, is there something you wish to tell me about? Namely, the mess in the wardroom last week. Ugh, stop blaming me every time one of the officers flies off the handle, old man. Not every brawl or disaster on this ship is because of me. <laughs> the remains of a meal, one far too lavish for even a hive world, let alone a prison colony. A long string of names extends beneath the heading, Top Query, Workers of the Cycle. Okay, there's something in here. We'll have to try and figure out how to open that that door. Over there. Okay, let's see. We'll go around this way. The burden of failure is the most terrible punishment. Oh man! The light of terror. All right, that's the first one we failed. So honestly, we've had pretty good luck with that stuff so far. Um, now here's the thing. I don't know when an injury becomes a trauma. An injury received from a trap or a sudden large amount of damage, if not removed with a medikit, it will turn into an old injury. Too many injuries reduce the character's resolve and cause traumas. The sum of the character's actions during a round? Oh. Wait, wait, what? I don't think that should be highlighted for that, but that's okay. That's funny. Um, okay, but man, I wish they would tell me. I want to know when something like this becomes an injury. 
Um, it seems to be that... Yeah, I don't know, man. Let's proceed. Prison Diary of Adi Shan, Part 1. Grok shit, why me? Why? I missed my tithe payment 12 years ago. 12 years! The inspector's writ got lost somewhere in the bowels of the planetary administratum and was lying there this whole time, but they made sure to remember to tack on the fines every month. By the time they found the blasted paper and finally informed me, the total sum was so obscene it would take three generations of my descendants, if I had any, to pay it off. My fate was sealed. Trial, sentence, prison, all because of some daft rotter who shoved my paper in the wrong box. To be fair, I think I got off pretty easy. My bed in the barracks is about as hard as that slab of rock creed I've got at home. Working in the quarry isn't much tougher than my old job, and the rules, void take me, that old sod that governs Rykad Minoris is a bloody sadist by comparison. Interesting. Eh. The implication here is that, like, this world is so terrible that she, she might rather be in prison. It's a strange old place. I haven't been beaten once yet. The guards bark orders all the time, but they never hit us. They also got this kind of inner circle of special chosen prisoners. The optimatum, they call it. If you can get an em in, if you can get in, Emperor is my witness, you get an actual day off. They let you out of your cell and into the yard by the big barracks, and I tell you what, they let you rest there and feed you better than whatever swill they're giving us in the canteen. They told me it's to improve our motivation and all that, to foster a stronger desire to reform and become a worthy servant of the Imperium once more. But I know it for what it is, just a club for the Warden's favorites. The same story is everywhere else. Suck up to the people in power and get some swanky perks. They say the whole thing was the Warden's idea, funny man our Warden. He looks more noble than nobility itself, tall, groomed, teeth even, eyes burning. Boots so polished you can see yourself when you move to lick him, but that mutter doesn't much want people licking his boots. He walks around looking like he's deep in thought. All right, with only a couple of guards at his side, and he sometimes, if you can believe it, talks to prisoners. What's your name, he asks. He asks them all uh, quiet-like. Why were you condemned? Do you feel remorse? He even yells at no one, never, even yells at, he never even yells at no one. <laughs> the double negative tripped me up there. Never orders to have him flogged. Instead, he dulls rewards out of the special ones. To the special ones. Keeps telling us things like how we should strive to make society believe in us again. Uh-huh, whatever you say, Master Warden. Starting tomorrow, I'll be joining... I'll be trying to join these optimates of yours. I'm stuck in here till the day I die, and that means no return to society for me. But with the Emperor's help, I might just join the ranks of the local elite. Oh, let's get everybody. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Scraps of typical prison food repulses to the senses. Repulsive to the senses. Venerable Optimates, the best among us, the list is faded and the names are barely legible. Your arrogance will be your downfall. Uh -huh. I will fight if I must. Um, is that a visual bug? We don't get to choose... Oh, because we're ambushed. Okay. Well, not much we can do about that. <laughs> so if we get ambushed, then... I wonder if that... <laughs> okay. I don't know why you came that close and then ran away, but sure. Uh, just a <laughs> minor setback. Yeah! Okay, um, what was I about to say? I wonder if there was some kind of check for whether we got ambushed or not. Um, it would probably show up here if it was, right? Not seeing it. Okay. Maybe some fights are just ambushes, you know? Okay, nine, nine, nine... Okay, if I hold that down, Grenadier Guard. Can I shoot through this? No. If I go here, can I see that guy? Yes, I can. What are my chances of hitting? 92? I'll make it happen.
give you take aim. Okay, I'm guessing amongst the prison guards, guns are probably not going to be as common. Looks like most of these guys are melee. Ugh. Gosh, these Why kicks. Why did I not foresee this? Oh, that's Cassia, not Ab Abelard. Um, since you don't have a weapon that strikes... Hold up, hold up. This might be better. I'm not accustomed to being ordered God, I gotta remember that's a thing. If they're in melee range, they get an attack of opportunity when you use your Psyker ability. That is foolishness. Line of Sight strikes again. is unacceptable. Oh, that sucks. So she can't even shoot. Um, I guess if I use this, I can move away. <laughs> I keep on forgetting about stuff like that. I'll do it. So we have this now. Cost two AP. Slash ability with two charges for this round. Slash cannot be used in the same round as charge. At your back and call. That's not the same. Okay, it didn't work how I thought it did. Um, okay. But, that's so weird. So you trigger that, and it gives you a different ability that costs zero AP. There's gotta be a reason for that. Maybe there'll be other things that you can attach to this. Um, let's go here. And since we didn't use Slash, we can still use Charge. Follow my lead. Um, we shouldn't be able to use this, right? Okay, I think that's bugged, because it specifically says you can't use it. Interesting. Yeah, that must be bugged. It, like, specifically says you can't use them in the same turn, and I just did. Alright. Unless there's something that I don't understand, somebody let me know. Alright, you come here, and you're gonna spray these guys. Um, I gotta remind myself, what did we get? The next ranged area attack made by the soldier deals 100% damage and has an additional 20% dodge reduction. Yeah, we're probably gonna do that. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone! Doubt is for the weak! <laughs> oh my gosh! Those poor people! Okay, we'll take our bonuses. <laughs> Those poor people. Um, can you use this from here? No, no can do. Okay, we're gonna go there and use this then. So you now have this Medicaid thing. Now if I use this, it does not count as like an, an action. 
So you can attack and do this. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to attack anybody anyway, so... What's the range on that? Is it... Alright, it's just one square. But, we can do it diagonally. Healed up. Request approved. Honestly, not very smart of you. Definitely could have done a better job if you grenaded over here. <laughs> Just saying. I'm ready for whatever comes. It's as good as done. I think you're out of range of this, right? Oh, you're not. Um, but doesn't matter. You wouldn't be able to hit anybody, so. We'll give you... I won't stand for it. You take aim? No, take aim on you doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's okay. Well, I mean, we've got this. Why not? I won't compromise my principles. Ooh, you might just, you might still be out of sight, huh? No, okay, Anything we got is. it. New, new type of knife, we'll have to check that out. All right, bare beds made from metal sheets swing back and forth on the rusted chains. Whoever is forced to sleep on them, it would not take much for them to fall. Keep your wits about you. The grease-stained edges of the poster detach ever so slightly. It appears that it was frequently removed and rehung. Okay. Tear off the poster and examine the wall behind it. Okay, very cool. Prisoner Shank, 4 to 12. Okay, these cages have been placed in plain view of the beds inside of traces of blood and excrement. Gross. All right, part two of Adi Shan's uh, diary. I wonder if we're gonna run into this character. <laughs> I swear the Emperor hasn't forsaken me. Guess who just came down the shuttle gangway among the fresh batch of prisoners? Clenson Throne. The Throne Damned Willia. Former Administratum Clerk. No, THE Clerk. The very same scum who lost the writ about the missing payment. He's the reason I'm in this hole. Don't know why they threw them, what they threw him in for, but I've never felt better in my life. He's not just behind the same bars as me, he's fresh meat. And I'm a venerable optimate, respected by everyone in the colony. The warden just came up with a new improvement from now on. Anyone who underperforms, misbehaves, or causes trouble, any other way is to be punished by the community, specifically by the local best and brightest. Yours truly, the optimates. The last two sods who failed to meet the quota were stripped naked, whipped, and thrown into the cages in the big barracks. That's where they have to eat, sleep, and shit now with everyone watching. I thought to myself then, that isn't right. They've taken these punishments too far, but now, just you wait, you piece of grok shit. I'll get you for something. Those cages are calling your name. The beds here are bolted to the floor. Some have thin, torn bed sheets and even tattered pillows. I 
I always have a backup. You left the novice imperial to serve the rogue trader. Do you ever regret it, Seneschal? No, I do not regret it in the least. Serving in the Imperial Navy is a fine thing to do. And it was only under Lady Theodora that I truly felt the significance of what I was doing. Notice he only said Lady Theodora. I see how it is, bro. Alright, 4 to 12. Nah, the other one has more options. Okay, what about you? 7 to 10, 4 to 12. So the prisoner shank is better than this. Has a chance to inflict bleeding, so that's interesting. Most warriors prefer swords, for they provide more flexibility on the battlefield against close combat enemies. Plus 10% parry, minus 10 to enemy weapon skill when hit. That's kind of interesting, though. Is there anybody who would make use of that? Right now, I don't think so. Now, what if I wanted to give you a pistol and a dagger instead? That way you could debuff and bleed if we wanted to. Oh, did we ever check this? The Psychic uh, Body Glove. We bought that, right? Um, so we got that through trade. Armor, 25%. That's probably really good for somebody. And I think it was for Psychers specifically. Ignores the first critical hit damage in combat. Base armor property is a plus to the Psy rating uh, percentage of dodge. So I think this is going to be for you, Adira. Yeah, yeah. I do like the idea of a bolt pistol. Is that, that's got to be better than what you've got. So maybe, let's see, is it? 8 to 12, only barely. What else does it have? Uh, hmm. Rate of fire, 3. Yeah. I mean, with the burst... It's more effective. It has it has the potential with burst to do more damage, is the point. So that might be a good option for this setup here. Something to think about. Operation successful. Now what is that? Prison guard key, okay. I probably would have opened that door anyway. Chopped up slabs of flesh have been thoroughly washed of any blood. Are those actual human arms? Oh, good. Great. Lovely. Okay, part three. I'm scared. I should have known all that charity from the warden was going to bring nothing but trouble. No noble, no matter how barmy, would pull anything of the sort but that man. It started with the little things the warden would come by to talk as he did, except he used to ask us questions before, and now he was mostly gushing sermons, some gibberish about a path to purgation, the sanctity of sacrifice, seeing with blinded eyes. Okay, so he is a heretic. He is one of these uh, cultists. I listened and nodded. Yes, Master Warden. Of course, Master Warden. 
He could say whatever rubbish he wanted as long as the tasty optimate meals kept coming. I thought everyone else was doing the same, nodding just to please the big man. I was wrong. After that, people in the barracks started yapping on about purgation and blindness too. Apparently, us optimates were no longer just the warden's favorites. We were emperor, forgive me, prophets of some kind, who were meant to save the rest of the sorry lot, or awaken them, or make them see, some rubbish along those lines. People were now supposed to make sacrifices to optimates. Yesterday, the sap who slept in the bed under me in my first year here cut off his own damn ear and crawled on his knees towards me. He handed me the ear and begged me not to forsake him when the fateful hour came. What in the throne am I supposed to do with an ear? Why is everyone, every single one, staring at me all the time? The warden said the time was nigh, that fate had truly great things in store for the optimates. I went to look how my good friend Clemson was doing. He hadn't spoken for three months ever since I had all of his top teeth ripped out. Ooh. He spoke today. He looked straight at me and said, Dead man. I kept hitting him until it hurt. Until it hurt me. Now my fists and feet are all bruised. At the barracks stood there and watched and prayed. I'm scared. Ooh. Okay. Oh my god, I did not notice that. How did I not- Oh my gosh. <laughs> Severed human body parts. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Judging by the number of horde morsels, dozens of victims were slain here. Alright, we never found anything that opened this door. I wonder if that was like a, um... One of the hidden perception checks. Maybe we missed it. I always keep my options There's open. nothing else here, right? Can't go anywhere here. Let's see. Did I look at that? Yes, we did. All right, well. Oh, there is another room over here. This might be it. My brethren, the dawn is nigh. The Optimates will guide us into the new existence. Yes, yes, dear brethren, have a taste of my steel. Oh, how I've longed for this, my dear brethren. Oh, that's not what I was expecting to happen. Thank the throne, normal looking faces. We thought we were going to die here with these nutters. The old man with a gap tooth smile drops his weapon and holds out his hands in a placating gesture. Please don't shoot us, your nobleness. Let us speak a word. Well, this is a welcome change. Talking before shooting. Still, Lord Captain, the look of this ragtag bunch hardly inspires trust. Let's see. I came across a void ship in the system belonging to your associates. They told me some interesting things about, uh, you and your planned escape. The man grunts, huffs, then makes up his mind. Well, now that's out of the bag. Our fellows were supposed to come and get us a long time ago, but they got tied up somewhere. Void Kraken's gullet with them. And in all this time we had to wait, this happened. Pardon me for trying to pull the synth wool over you, it's just that we wanted nothing to do with this whole warden nonsense. So what now? Will you let us go? A deer cracks her neck. Sure, no problem. Today you tell us the lie. Tomorrow you stick a torpedo in our side from the ship of yours. If it doesn't fall apart the moment our helmsman sneezes in its general direction. Give me a reason not to execute you on the spot. Here's the deal. We're honest. Quiet inmates. We didn't want to riot, but well, sitting it out wasn't really an option either. The warden's lapdogs made short work of those who refused to join in the festivities, so we had to, you know, play along. But that's all it was, play. We never meant no offense to Governor Medina, nor to the lawful authority of House Winterscale. Give us a chance, eh? We just want to wait until everything blows over and we can go back to our cells and quietly do the rest of our time. Pascal inquires demur demurely, does the fact that this serf is presently confined and therefore has previously betrayed the trust of the Imperium servants need to be vocalized? Or is it evident to the late 
persons and initiated in the sacred mysteries of logic. A repentant, honest heretic. How novel. Judging by Abelard's tone, the Seneschal is utterly unimpressed by the old man's ingratiating monologue. The lowborn speech is modeled with colors that conceal his true darker hues. This old man has a long history of lies and he is using his wiles on us as well. But I see no foul corruption or ill intent in his words. Tell me more about the warden and the riot. Pah, why sew your tongue talking about that heretic? But if you insist, here's how it is. The warden of this here prison, the Honorable Master Casteglia, was a crackpot from the start. The previous warden ran things the proper way. Prayer, one meal a day, work, a punch in the chompers from the guards work again. But the new one, do you know what his first decree was? He introduced lunches and dinners. By the nine devils, that's three meals a day. The man was obviously stark raving mad. Things only went downhill from there. The guards quit it with the uh, teeth punching. The warden forbade them. Instead, the overseer started counting which prisoners were digging up more things than the quarry or swinging their pickaxes harder or whatnot. And then, would you believe it? They put together a list of best workers. And if someone on that list also showed good behavior, that's when, thing, that's when they'd get promoted to an optimate. That's the upper crust among us jailbirds. And that's how it was at first. Then the warden decided it's the optimates, not the guards, who should be in charge of punishments. And that it wasn't the overseer's job to watch the prisoners work. It was the optimates. Well, let me tell you, that's when these goody two-shoes really started to shine. The guards aren't even in the same league as our dear fellows, the optimates. In the old days, we had maybe five or ten stiffs kicking it a week. And now, well, now we were lucky if it was only fifty. And that wasn't even the end of it. Warden Casteglia moved out of his chambers to live right in the quarry, under the dome. And I think something in his new home really scrambled his brain. He began spouting the wildest things, like the optimates are saints who will behold the truth. And he started taking them to the quarry. Uh, not all of them returned. The ones who did, he wouldn't recognize them. More beasts than man. They were butchering people left and right, even guards and overseers. The warden himself had armed them. And that's the whole sob story, but I knew it from the moment he let us have dinner, so this won't end well. And here nods knowingly. The old codger's right, whenever nobles start giving handouts to commoners, something always goes wrong. She notices you look and your look and catches herself. I mean that with all due respect, your lordship, no offense intended. If I spare you, what do I gain from it? Ha, ah, now how can lowly jailbirds hope to thank your noble self? <laughs> I have an inkling. You see here, us here, we're, how should I put this, different from the rest of the prisoners in this place. They're all petty thieves from Rika and Minoris, debtors, gutter snipes. They're no one serious. Now we, your nobleness, are cut from a different cloth altogether. We're fortune seekers from the void. You're pirates. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we tell you we're on Footfall Station? You know Footfall, the only shipyard and the best market in all of Corona's Expanse. Where on Footfall you can find some very serious business-minded people. And how you can get yourself a very special discount from them on some very special goods. Huh. I'm actually kind of intrigued by this. I don't think a lot of our party will like us doing this, but I'm, I'm going to hear them out. What kind of very serious people? Oh, the most serious kind, your nobleness. Have you heard about the Fellowship of the Void? It's the largest pirate alliance in the Expanse. There is no leader, of course, but there are some terribly serious captains who decided that cutting each other's throats over loot was, what do you call it, counterproductive? But cutting throats together, now that's anti-counterproductive. And well, their joint efforts leave them with an excess of spoils, so they need to dispose of it somehow. And I, your nobleness, just happen to know someone who handles such kinds of dealings on behalf of those very serious people. So this is separate from the ship. He said that it was uh, actually on the planet. So this isn't the one we've already found. Very well, I shall spare you. Oh, that's so great to hear your nobleness. Just great. Now there's a true aristocrat, not the warden creep. Now then, your nobleness, where was I? If you're ever on Footfall Station, there's the district there, the Shadow Quarters. And it's called that because it's located behind the statue of our holiest emperor. I've known folks who called it something else, also on account of it being behind the statue. Don't repeat their mistakes, I tell you. Reverend Hieronymus wasted no time finding and burning them all. 
Forgive an old man for getting distracted. So, footfall. The Shadow Quarters. There's a bar there, built into the remains of an old ship. And in that bar in the back room, a certain Riza does her business, tell her grandpa Bakval says hello. You'll be her favorite client in the blink of an eye. There we are. Well, your nobleness, we'll be going now if you don't mind. Okay. Wow, we can pardon them. All right. I shall not leave you here to die at the hands of the Warden's henchmen. Go tell my pilot that it is the Lord Captain's order that you be sent to my ship. You will join my ship's crew. You have my personal pardon as a rogue trader. All right, this could come back to bite us. These guys might cause a problem on the ship, but... I mean, the ship is like literally thousands upon thousands of people. I have to imagine that three somewhat shady characters won't <laughs> hurt too much, he says. Uh, thanks. We're most grateful, your nobleness. The old man glances at you somewhat skeptically, but then smiles and leaves. Okay. Oh, a bow. Okay, okay. I'm surprised that uh, nobody had anything to say in my party about that. Okay, let's see. Sanctioned Psyker or unsanctioned? It's a new staff. Okay. Consign. Can't actually look at what it does right now. Heroic Act Consign. Desperate Measure Consign. The wielder of the staff gains the Consign ability. The ability is also available in its Heroic Act and Desperate Measures version. Plus five willpower. All right, cool. So you're not actually considered a Psyker, so you can't use this. You can use it if we get Divination. Okay. This one is only for Psykers. This one, if you get Divination, you can use it. Um, I would love to know what consign does. Alright, so I should be able to check it. So I put it on. And if I click here... Alright, I can check it. The next hit against the target will be an automatic critical hit. Okay, that's interesting. And then, um, this is just like an extra... option for heroic acts. The next attack against every enemy in combat will be an automatic critical hit. Okay. I mean, that's cool, but Lightning Arc is, like, a stellar ability. When the wearer uses Endure, they immediately remove one of the effects on them in the following order. Burning, poison, bleeding. Okay. Something to consider for Abelard. He's the one with Endor, right? Look no further. Yeah. Okay, to the main levels, and then was there another exit over here? To the main level, yes. Still didn't find a way to open that door, though. Is there money to be made? Okay, both exits connect here. Corpse in a uniform decorated with the Winter Scout coat of arms. 
The dead guard did not even have time to draw a weapon. The attack must have come as a surprise. Oh, another one of those. The accretions on the outside of the structure indicate some regularly occurring natural phenomenon, possibly poison gas emissions. Look at this. Oof. The Chosen Ones. Warden Casteglia. I told you, Evie. They are hiding so much from us, arrogant mentors, holy brothers and sisters. Oh, is this... Is this the winter scale sun? What have they ever given us? Nothing but a pile of fibs and useless admonitions. The voice of the man standing with his back to you sounds almost soft, heedless of everything but what is in front, in front before him. He leans over a prisoner dressed in expensive clothing. But Aurora, she is different. She spoke with me like no one ever had before. She revealed the truth to me. And now I can reveal it to you, if you just stop struggling for one minute. But The man finally realizes he is not alone and turns to you. He is clutching a long, thin metallic rod with blood dripping off it. Is he lobotomizing them? We have guests? Oh, from the Von Valencia ship, I would wager. Evie, my dear, you will have to wait. Do not faint, I beg of you. It's important that you feel everything, including your other eye. Oh my god, what is with the blinding of everybody? The warden's words are suddenly drowned out by a chorus of voices in your head. The entity that still dwells in the recesses of your mind rejoices in a cacophony of cries. This place, it holds great significance for the entity. If the fran In the frantic chanting of the voices, you can almost make out words that speak of an ancient grave. One that was opened, for it contained a priceless treasure. A most coveted prize that was retrieved by the faithful, after a century's long search. Such dreadful shades. Cassia recoils and covers her mouth. The colors of this place, they are putrescent to the core, and these people, their colors are oozing with madness and despair, pain and doom. Who is that on the table? My sincerest apologies, where are my manners? Please allow me to introduce Evane Winterscale, the younger son of Caligos Winterscale in the flesh. You know he was so close to witnessing the truth, right before you interrupted our little chat. A fleeting glance at Winterscale's outstretched body is enough to turn your stomach. Torture, the very word, makes you cringe in shameful horror. Your mind reels with the memories you have tried unsuccessfully to push to the back of your mind all these years. How dare you, contemptible peasant? For every drop of noble blood you spill, you will pay a hundredfold more. Cassia turns to you for support with an expression that is in equal parts indignant and frightened. Abelard shakes his head somberly. That poor fool. I knew nothing good would come of his naive attempt at negotiating with heretics. However, Ravane appears to still be alive. If we make haste, we may yet save him. Having a scion of House Winterscale in your debt would certainly prove beneficial. Oof. I'm starting to think this might be something we can fail, too. How do you know who I am? Lies have many faces, but there is only one truth, and it has been laid bare before me. I knew the enemy of the truth would come here sooner or later. You know, we had this guy once. He was a quiet one. One day, he walked into a middle deck bar, threw one back, and then pulled out a gun and started shooting people left and right without saying a word. Then he shoved the barrel in his mouth and blew his brains out. Our warden here has exactly the same look in his eyes right now. So, something to do with this entity was buried here? So he specifically came here to be the warden to try and get the prisoners to unbury whatever this thing was. That pit, there's something special about it, is there not? An item of value was once buried there. Now tell me, warden, what was the item and who took it from here? The warden's gaze bores into you, then he smiles with the corners of his lips. Oh, you are too late, enemy of the truth. This bastion has already fulfilled its great purpose. You will never find the trail of the reclaimed relic that now rests in the hands of the devout. Who is Aurora? 
Oh, so you've managed to barge in here and interfere with the prophetess's designs, without even knowing who she is. But it is too late now, you will never attain sight. All you can do is accept your fate. He suddenly stirs like a predatory beast. I do not like it when people take the prophetess's Zoro's name in vain. I desire your death, enemy of truth. Ooh, I wonder if uh, they're gonna get to ambush us now. I wonder if they get like an initiative bonus maybe. We should have attacked first. The warden raises his hand and the maimed people start thrashing about in their death throes. The time for words has passed. Optimates, give your power to the harbinger of Aurora. Let our foes see the truth or become a wash in blood. I'll make an example out of you. Okay, do they have health bars? They're still moving. At least, at least Evane is. Oh, we got a level up? Alright, I might put you here since you have a sniper. Okay, you got good initiative. Let's put you somewhat close. I don't know if I want to bunch up. Voice of command. I'm gonna pop this. I'm gonna shoot you. Consider this a taste of what's nice. to come. I think that was a crit too, huh? Um, and we're gonna do take aim on Argenta. Now I don't want to risk, I don't know if hitting him is a possibility even, but I don't think I want to risk it. Maybe I'm being dumb and naive, I don't know, but. Mm. As the Emperor commands, I act. I lied, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what's gonna happen next? Oh. Oh, interesting. Did that thing have full health? So it revived him with a certain amount of health, I think, is what just happened. Battlefield in righteous fury. Oh, that's all right. Damn, I didn't even know he was there. There's a lot of people over here, huh? Okay, Abelard. Of this one. What? You are target. Get him, boy. Um, with only one, I'm gonna do endure, not sworn enemy. Um, that at least covers some sides for a little Try bit of cover. So I'm gonna move the you there. Ones.
Okay, so if I do that, that adds a little bit of extra damage. So yeah, now it's possible to kill both. Um, should I destroy this lens too? It doesn't seem like it's active, but I think he's gonna do the same thing with this stuff if we don't. I can't right click on these. Um, mostly I wanted to see like if they, yeah, it doesn't matter actually. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, this helps with dodge, right? Specific and parry, so let's give that to you. Blind that guy. Okay, 49, 83. We'll take the 83, possibility to kill. That's fine, you did what you could. Job for the serves. All right, some temp HP there. Um, I may want to do this. Oh, what? If I'd known about a hundred cooldown, I would never have used this. Are you kidding me? Look at that cooldown rounds 99. This is useless then. Are you serious? No, it says I can do it once per combat. Is there a reason I can't use this? Is that bugged? Maybe some other ability that they that somebody triggered made that impossible or so I don't I don't know what that's about. Huh. I was gonna heal her. Okay. So on Argenta's next turn, I think we'll just use a med kit for her. Um, she's hurting. Oh, you've already got it. Yeah, there's a lot of lenses around here. I wonder if each one of those is going to trigger giving this guy more health. Running by Neric override. On it. I'll make it happen. Okay, so that'll be two of our points. Ministration is a holy task. Okay, good amount of health from that. I like it. Okay, there's a guy up there. Go. 
guided by faith. Oh, maybe I should have tried to finish that guy. How do you like this? I'm a mentor. I will do my duty. Reduced to dust. Not bad, my man. Not bad. But it's so tall. I should be able to hit that. <laughs> Alright, we'll hit that then. Dare ask, if I may? Mm, no, I'm gonna wait. Okay, 95 versus, and it's still a 95. Who if not me? I refuse. Have they all gotten it? <laughs> I'll make it happen. Okay, one of them's down. Faith without deeds is worthless. Wait, zero? Really? Okay, we got nine damage from that. In thy light I stand, and thy light I crave. As the Emperor commands, I act. Okay, two of them are down. I'll do it. Emperor! 
Okay, we knew that was gonna happen. It's okay. The spread on the current gun you've got is really, really not very wide. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Line of sight on that thing is going to be weird. Don't like it. But of course. Damn, 89? Okay. Maybe each of those can only do it once. I don't believe we've been properly introduced. Blood is bubbling on the young man's lips and his voice is barely audible. But even now, it remains melodious and quite courteous. A vain, winter scale, af Coronas. Greatly pleased to make your acquaintance. On the rare days that Lord Winterscale visited Urak V, the station was awash in a mist of warm hues. We were forbidden from meeting each other, but I was delighted still to see such rare colors in my home. Now, however, his colors are darkening, twisting from pain and bitterness. We must help, Lord Captain. We must save the clarity of his soul. For he whose presence makes the world a little brighter deserves no less. Lady Cassia, I presume. The sacred child of House Orselio, how disgraceful it is that on the day that we finally meet, I... Evane looks away in shame. I find myself not at my best. There is no disgrace in your predicament, Lord Winterscale. The Lord Captain and I met under similarly dreadful and tragic circumstances. Conserve your strength. You are wounded and need help. Wounded? I would have phrased it altogether differently, tortured and maimed, perhaps. Have you ever had your eyes burnt out? This was my first time. I cannot say I recommend the procedure. It... He is either trying to make light of the situation or growing delirious from the pain. They only got one of them, though, right? I think that uh, the dialogue before said that he needed to get the other eye. What have they done to you? Uh, the warden, my friend. I tried to convince him to stop the riot. Diplomacy failed. Speaking is a struggle, but he continues stubbornly. Father hates diplomacy, which is why I uh, had to try. Jesus, finish him off? No, he seems like he'll, he could be a really good ally in the Winterscale family. And um, not all rogue traders, it sounds like, get along all the time. So having an ally amongst uh, the Winterscale clan may not be a bad idea. I must take my leave. I will see to it that assistance is provided to you and that you are escorted from here. He nods, giving in to oblivion. Damn, dude. Until our next meeting, Lord Von Valencius, I require some time alone with my thoughts. The mutilated man does not stir, bound into shackles, the plaque near his head reads, Most Holy Prophet, an optimate. Ati Shan. Okay, that's the one that we've been reading the uh, journals of. Your skin crawls as you approach this place, however, there does not appear to be anything of note. So this might be where it was um, uncovered, this artifact. The crippled man's appearance is ghastly, and yet is it evident he was cared for after his mutilation. Okay, lots of new stuff. We'll take a look at those after we loot everything, I think. Rise to the top or get left in the dust.
The accretions on the outside of the structure indicate some regularly occurring natural phenomenon, possibly poison gas emissions. Always keep your eye on the prize. All right, your old injury can't be healed with the medikit, but it requires passing a medikit skill test to succeed. Too many injuries reduce the character's resolve and cause traumas. Okay. So that one became an old injury, but it hasn't become a trauma. So multiples of those might be required for a trauma. I just don't know how many. I always have a backup plan. Is this a place we can get to or no? Looks like no. This glass-making furnace was used to melt the extracted sand into glass. My success is an irrefutable Evidence strategy. suggests that the victim was killed by poison gas. Let us not dawdle. Okay, we are over time by quite a bit, so we're going to end the episode here. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and in the next one, I suppose we'll do some level ups and check out the loot that we got. So, have a good one. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada 101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba 90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot 27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.